I'm going to walk you through creating an effect size template in Google Sheets. For reference, effect size is calculated by finding the average of the post-assessment score minus the average of the pre-assessment score, and then dividing that by the average standard deviation of both the pre- and post-assessment scores. So that is the formula we're going to use when creating this template. Here is what my template looks like. I've got a spot for the teacher or the class that I'm working with right up at the top. I've got a column for the students' names, a column for the pretest scores, and a column for our post-test scores. Down here is where we'll have our calculations for the averages and the standard deviation, and eventually we will get our effect size. So before we put in any of the data, we want to get the formulas embedded into these cells. So let's start with the average. I'm going to click on the cell next to average in the pretest column. And to find my pretest average, I'm going to click on the equal sign and start typing in AVE. That's going to pull up the average function. And I want to select all of the cells that I want it to find the average for, which will be the pretest scores. Go ahead and select those and then click enter. Now you're going to see this little error message pop up. That's OK. As soon as we start putting in our scores, you will see this uh, error message go away, and you're just going to see the average calculated instead. So we're going to move over to the post-test side. So same thing. We're going to hit the equal sign on our keyboard, type in A, B, E, pull up that average function, and select all of our post-test score cells. All right, now we're going to move on to the standard deviations. So I'm going to click back over to the pretest column side. And to find the standard deviation, we are going to click the equal sign again and start typing in STDEV. That's going to pull up our standard deviation function. And then I want to select all of the pretest score cells again. Go ahead and hit enter. We're going to do the same thing on the post test side. Equal sign STDEV. That's going to pull up that standard deviation function. And again, you want to select all of the post test scores and hit enter. All right, moving on to the next step. So we need to find the average post-assessment score minus the average pre-assessment score. And so we're going to do that in this cell right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the equal sign, and then I'm going to click on the cell that has the average post score, and then I'm going to hit the minus sign on my keyboard, and I'm going to select the average pre-score on the other side. You'll see that little formula pop up. Go ahead and click Enter. And now we need to find our average standard deviation. So in this cell, I'm going to hit the equal sign and start typing in A, V, E to pull up that average function again. And now I'm going to select my two cells that I want that average for and go ahead and click Enter. Now here is the final piece of the formula. So down here in effect size, I want to click the equal sign. And now I want to select the average post minus the average pre-cell, which is this orange cell. And then I'm going to hit the backslash sign for the division symbol. And then I want to select the average standard deviation cell and then go ahead and hit enter. And that is going to calculate your effect size. So this finishes your template uh, for the effect size. Now, if you wanted to change anything, you can change it here or you can make a copy of it and change it. Or if you're ready to work in this template, uh, but you want to keep this as your master template, go down to that master tab, go ahead and right click and then hit duplicate. And by creating this template and then duplicating it or make a copy of it, that will ensure that all of those uh, formulas that we just put in place stay there. And you can go ahead and enter in your data and it's going to automatically generate that effect size for you. So here is an example of what a complete effect size uh, sheet looks like. You'll see all of your scores. You'll see all of the calculations down here at the bottom. And then finally, you'll see your effect size. Now, all of the effect sizes are left um, in their raw form. I go ahead and round that number at the very end just to keep it clean. But remember that if you change any of your data, it will change your effect size. It automatically generates every single time you change the data. If you have a student who does not have a pretest score, but they have a post-test score, you can still include their information right down here below. When you're calculating effect size, you need to be using complete data, meaning you have both the pretest score and the post-test score, and that will ensure that you're getting the most accurate effect size. If you have a student who has a zero for their score in either the pretest or the post-test, you need to make sure that a zero is put into their score cell and the cell is not just left blank. The zero is calculated into all of those formulas to get your effect size, whereas a blank cell would not affect your calculations at all. If you're calculating effect size for multiple groups, then I like to create a quick look page at the very end. This page will include all of the core data that's used when calculating effect size, and then you can also see all of your group's data right there on one page.